Hi, this is Kevin and welcome to this video on stock market data. So access to stock market data is an absolute necessity when you want to create and backtest your own trading strategies. Luckily, today's day, we have a lot of sources from where you can get this data and a lot of easy to use libraries that you can use as well. So after going through this video, you will learn how to use the Y Finance library to get the data of your favorite asset. So let's get started. Now you can use the download method of the Y Finance package to download the historical price data of any stock. Now the download method uh, returns a pandas data frame and this data frame contains the open high low close along with the adjusted close and volume data of the stock. Now uh, this also returns the data for all the trading days between the start and end date specified within the download method. So let us uh, take a quick example and download the market price data for the Apple stock for the year 2019 and we will store all of the data in a variable called price data apple. So the first step is to call the download method then we will pass the ticker of the stock or the asset. So for example uh, in since we are looking at the data of apple you can pass AAPL. Now since we need the data for the year 2019 we will set the start and end dates accordingly. Uh, so we will set the start date as January 1st, 2019 and the end date will be December 31st, 2019. And also note that if the end date is not specified, in this case, the data will be downloaded till the current date. Finally, uh, let's check the data by printing a few dataset rows. So we can use the dot tail function to view the data of the last few days of the year 2019. So you can see the data for the last few days of the year 2019. Now we can use this data and even visualize the trends in the price. For this, simply plot the close prices as shown here. Now as you can see, Apple seems to be trending upwards. So we just saw how to get the data for Apple. But what if you want to get the data for any other stock? So let's say Microsoft. In that case, it's simple. You simply go to the download method and change the ticker from AAPL to the ticker of Microsoft, which is MSFT. Now that we have displayed the last few rows of the data, you may have noted something interesting. So in this data, you can see both the close price as well as the adjusted close prices. Now what does this adjusted close prices signify? The adjusted prices are adjusted for corporate actions such as stock splits, dividends and write off rights. But as of now, we only have the adjusted close prices. Uh, while working with a strategy, we would ideally need all of the adjusted columns. That means the adjusted open, high, low, as well as the close. So for achieving this, you can simply use the download method, but with an additional parameter of auto adjust. If you set the auto adjust parameter to true, it will return to you a data frame of all the adjusted prices and volume data. So yeah, we just got the adjusted price data for the Apple stock. So far, we have fetched the data for a single stock. But what if you want to get the data for multiple stocks? To get the data for multiple stocks, you can create a list of tickers and call the download method on this ticker list. So for example, we will create a variable called tickers list. In this, we will specify four stocks. This includes Apple, Amazon, Microsoft and Google. Now, while pulling the data, we will simply pass this tickers list into the download function and that will pull the data for all of the stocks in the list. So if you want to analyze the stock market data for all the stocks which make up the S&P 500, then the below code will help you. Now in this code, we are getting the updated list of stocks from the Wikipedia page and then this fetches the stock market data from Yahoo Finance for the list of tickers. So as you can see, we have passed the link of the Wikipedia page and then we are passing the ticker list to the download method of the function. Did you know the Y Finance module can also be used to fetch the minute level data of any stock? However, the only limitation here is that the minute level data can only be obtained up to the last five days. Now the key difference while downloading the minute level data is that you need to specify two additional parameters. These are the period and the interval. So under period, you can pass the number of days you wish to obtain the data for, which in our case, let's say is five days. And under the interval parameter, you can specify the frequency of the data you want 
such as one minute, fifteen minute, or even one hour. So to clarify, in this above code cell, we have fetched the stock market data for Microsoft for a period of five days in the one minute frequency. Next, we will use the Y Finance package to get the fundamental data. Now, the first step is to set a ticker and then call the appropriate properties to get the right stock market data. After setting up the ticker, you can type dot info and run the cell. For example, here we have typed MSFT dot info. Now, this gives us all the available information and attributes pertaining to the Microsoft stock. Now, in most cases, you will not require all of this information. Hence, to narrow down your results, you can use a specific set of attributes. To obtain the balance sheet, you can type MSFT dot balance sheet. Now, you can even fetch the data for various key ratios, such as the price to book ratio or the price to earnings ratio, as shown here. So that was all for now. I hope you are comfortable in downloading the data of your favorite assets using the Y Finance package. Let us know in the comments below if you are facing any difficulties. Now, if you want to learn more about how to download various kinds of financial data in a very stepwise and detailed manner, you can visit the free course on getting market data available on the Quantra platform. So that's all for now.